The city of Dothan is committing hundreds of thousands of dollars buying properties in one of Dothan's historic neighborhoods. Yeah, in fact, Amanda, the city believes this is the first step of many to help mitigate flooding in that neighborhood and surrounding areas. WDHN's Robert Smith Jr. has the story. The city of Dothan will spend over $700,000 to buy two properties in the Garden District they believe will help towards the flooding nightmare during heavy periods of rain. Our property in the middle, it kind of affects about eight to ten homes and our street generally has to be closed. A discussion that has been looming for the last two weeks. This is not a, an, an easy issue because we're dealing with people in their homes uh, and that's extremely important to the city commission uh, and this is not a, a, an, an easy one two three type of way to solve you know stormwater flooding. One of the property owners that was waiting for the green light to work towards a new home was Heather Phillips. She has since moved to temporary housing after the city came to her with the contract. We're, we're glad that you know no one else will have to deal with this issue. The city's being proactive trying to help their residents. The city says the Garden District has been in the strategic plan for the last four years to address the flooding issue. The plan was to replace old pipes with new ones that will cost around 12 million dollars. But buying these two properties for a retention project to mitigate flooding was much cheaper. Some commissioners have been on the fence about it because they didn't want to set the wrong example that the city will buy every residence that's flooding. If an act of God caused the 100 year, 150 year flood. There's, there's just not enough capacity for us to possibly contain that. Do we buy those houses? And another development, it may be a combination of buying houses. It may be a combination of buying, buy, fixing the culverts and, and putting in the pipe. And Other properties have been added for the city to purchase, but those have been tabled to look at the sites. Reporting, Robert Smith, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.